I start out almost crashing into a star. I have to set my destination target. Mission targets show up in blue. I've been doing easy combat missions. I think this is my current mission. That's where I'm going. Here have a look at my ship. I have an extra seat. Or two. We can listen to some news from around the galaxy. Support required for new Marlinist stuff. There's a dynamic political Island game going on around the galaxy. A delivery campaign in the HIP 22550 system will help build additional starports for the Marlinist colonies. First Minister Octavia Volkov delivered this public address. Here are my specs and load out. Born out of desperation, but we have evolved into a fully fledged society. Emperor Arisa has formally accepted our status as an autonomous democracy, albeit one that retains cultural and historical ties with the Empire. To celebrate and consolidate our independence, we have launched an initiative to construct up to six new orbital stations. For all those who wish to take part, we require shipments of aluminium, computer components, power generators and titanium to be transported to Stillman Hub Starport. I am also delighted to announce that Universal Carter Graphics has approved our petition to rename the original eight systems of the Marlinist colonies. These are expected to officially change in the near future. The Free Marlinists of Karini Faction has confirmed that it will offer rewards to pilots who deliver the necessary materials to Stillman Hub in the HIP-22550 system. Sirius Defends Alliance Territory. Pilots Federation Alert. Sirius Corporation megaships will soon arrive in the Colsac at which head nebulas to provide anti-Zeno support. The three vessels are intended as a demonstration of Sirius Corporation's military capabilities prior to the Strategic Defense Pact being ratified by the Alliance Assembly. A public statement was provided by Admiral Nicholas Glass, the Sirius Navy representative on the Alliance Council of Admirals. The Colsac Nebula and Witchhead Nebula regions are where Alliance interests are most at risk from Thargoid attack. From tomorrow, our megaships will serve as bases from which anti-Zeno operations can be conducted. All ships in the area are invited. Arisa accepts Marlinists' independence. Following a referendum by the Marlinist colonies, Emperor Arisa Lavani Duval has formally recognized their autonomous status. Prime Consul Kyode Tau of the Marlinist Consulate reported on his latest meeting with the Emperor. 
Her Majesty was clearly uncomfortable with the democratic way in which the ex-imperial citizens in the colonies now govern themselves. But she gracefully acknowledged that the Marlinist population had declined her invitation to become an imperial protectorate and would thus remain independent. However, I will scan ships to find my target. First Minister Octavia Volkov announced He is wanted, and he is my mission target. Shoot with lasers. Given us a clear mandate. The colonies stand alone. In accordance with the key principles of Marlinism. Shoot with cannons. Good to have you on the team, Commander. My aim is not so good. In favor of Republican governance and direct representation. Most of us are still haunted by the trauma of becoming refugees at 3,300. When he gets out of my view, I watch him on the scanner display. It's that circle at the bottom of the screen. Ships and other objects show up as dots. The guy I have targeted is marked with brackets. Lines show distance above or below me. Green dots are allies, red are hostiles. He is almost dead, and I am barely damaged. My health and shield are to the right of the scanner, is not to the left. He is running away like a little village. He jumped and got away. There are plenty of other red dots. I will target one and go again.
Enemy are wearing down my shield. Going to run away, but I have to try to get out of range of their lasers until my shield recharges.
Hello, I'm dead. It will cost 20 million to replace that ship.